What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jam league? This, of course, here is Jamira Fan 2000 with another episode of the Great Moments in Hashtag Jamira History. <laughs> What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jam league? This is, of course, here is Jamira Fan 2000 with another episode of Great Moments in Hashtag Jamira History. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing a topic that I wanted to cut, discuss in episode one, but I decided to make this in episode 1.5 uh, in regards to the first actual recording of music, or should I say vocals, that J a very young JK uh, ended up recording at a small, uh, fledgling record store in Ealing, England, England sometime between the time period 1986 to 1991. Let me give you a little more context. Now, uh, JK, many people, members of the family know JK's background. He was born with a twin brother that died in childbirth, and he was raised by a... Um, by a few fathers, and he started growing an amazing, amazing affinity for R&B, funk, and soul, and became very environmentally conscious as he grew older. But uh, J.K. during the early, um, the late '80s and early '90s, before he even thought about starting a band, um, thought about um, thought about making music. And uh, in Ealing, England, where J.K. grew up um, at that very young age, uh, running around the streets of Ealing, Ealing, selling marijuana and getting into lots of hijinks at his young age, um, went to a record record store um, in uh, Illing, England called Street Sounds, which was a record store where you could also record music, or should I say vocals to music. So a very young JK, like I prefaced at the beginning of this episode, um, about sometime between the time period of 1986 through 1991, went into Street Sounds and with a pre, I, I believe it was a pre-rendered um, instrumental, because back in that day, dub culture was very, was emerging and a lot of DJs were doing pre rendered music and creating music with pre-rendered music. And in this case, um, at Street Sounds, JK recorded a, no, a new original song called Natural Energy, which he probably improvised the lyrics to with the uh, pre-rendered um, instrumental track. But uh, that song was a technical first recording by a very young JK before the days of Jamiroquai even had emerged where JK would meet up with Toby Smith and then the rest is history. But uh, that recording would end up going unheard for nearly... 20 years um, back then when you recorded a song in their recording studio at uh, Street Sounds, uh, they would be produced as these one-off vinyl pressings called white labels. Now, white labels were used a lot in the DJ and b-boy culture to uh, create uh, templates for future DJ released vinyls of potential remixes, mixes, what have you. Now, only two of these white labels of Natural Energy, JK's original song, would be be pressed. One is owned by actual JK himself. I actually have confirmation on that. And another copy of this white label would find its way into a little radio station over in the UK called Solar Radio UK. Now, in the year of 2013, um, a DJ on Solar Radio would make a live radio debut of this unheard early JK song, like I said, between the time period produced sometime during the time period of 1986 to 1991 on solar radio. Now, with the advent of the internet, many members of the Jamly who heard this initial uh, live radio debut of this first song by JK, um ended up getting, uh, they got their hands on that white label and played it on the radio live. And with the advent of the internet, a recording of that, uh, two actually two recordings of that radio airplay of that unheard JK song, Natural Energy, would make its way online. One would be a, uh, one with a uh, DJ setup of the, what song they are playing. And apparently uh, uh, there's a DJ less, DJ less version recording of Natural Energy from Solar Radio. But this was debuted in 2013 and absolutely astounding first look at where JK was musically wanting to go. Now, God can goes without saying, JK's vocals are up there with um, the, the likes of Stevie Wonder and probably Marvin Gaye, but you see an amazing display of JK's early vocals in that first white label recording of him and doing um, improvised lyrics to a song called Natural Energy. Now, luckily, like I said, with the internet, that recording of that song made it to YouTube, and now everybody on the online family got to hear Natural Energy for the first time, even though JK did not want it to be heard. Solar Radio did us a solid and got the song available, and it's available on YouTube for you to check out in your own time, so if you'd like to check out the first ever, at least vocal recording by JK from sometime in the time period of 1986 to 19. 
1991 of his first song he ever recorded at Street Sounds in Ealing, England of Natural Energy. I'll be sure to put a link to the radio recordings of Natural Energy down in the description of this episode down below. So be sure to check that out in your own time. It is an amazing top time capsule of where JK was going to start and we all ended up in 30 years of Jamiroquai's musical history would end up. So amazing, mesmerizing song to check out in your own time. But as always, this is Jamir Fan 2000 and I'll see you again really soon with another episode of Great Moments in Hashtag Jamir History.